What's up, T3? Got the 43X. People were saying, ah, oh, you praised and praised the Glock 48. Now you're shooting 43X. I have not got rid of my 48, even though now that I've got this 43X, I'm seriously considering it only because I already have another in the family. My wife has got a 48. I still believe the 48 shoots better. I still believe if you had one gun, I would use the 48. If you've got the 43, I don't think it's worth upgrading unless you're very serious about shooting and you want to get your, maybe you're joined the church security team, okay? So here's the way I do it. All my Glock 43, 48 mags feel the same. Now this is my big one and it's got the most in it. I can tell by the weight of it, that one's got a lot in it. These two, one has two to three rounds, you know, and I can jumble them up like this. And then I don't know which is which, and I'm gonna run out very quick and I can work reloads. Uh, J Ray Construction, Justin Ray, good friend of mine for a long time, does quality, quality work, has built this dueling tree that I, I went ahead and transferred my sights from my 48 and my trigger to make sure I like this. And I'll be honest with you, when I first shot it, I wasn't such a big fan. So let's see what I can do on the steel. Uh, these are six inch plates. They are AR 500. Uh, it's adjustable is what I love about it. So I've been able to tune it just so that everything flips like it should. I even flattened it out last night and was turning it with a 380. Now you may or may not get that same result, but I definitely did. And working with this holster, this is a tier one concealment. Um, just like this one, this is for the full size. Right. So here we go. I'm gonna try to shoot it with a 43X and then we'll shoot it with a full size. I can do singles to work on my uh, draw speed. I'm, I'm, I know I'm about to run out, so I'm going to try to show you that reload. I'll try to turn so that you can see it maybe a little better if I can. So I'll get that one out. And I've got one more, of course, it's in my jacket. But you see, you can you can work the draw speed, and you can you can work your uh, reloads. I don't know how many's in there again. The forty three is very impressive, and I'm losing like you know tenths of second compared to my full size. So this is compensated red dot, you name it, I've got it. Um, let's try, let's see the difference in that. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Look how easy it is to put this on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the claw, pick that up, start it down, get the other ones, it's down, it's in there. So I can take this off and on. While, while I'm driving, I can slip it out. And when I get ready to get out, I can, I can take it in. But I try to wear it so I don't have to think about it. If something happens suddenly, I can jump out and get to work. How do I find that balance between speed and too much speed? Trial and error. I hate to tell you, it gets expensive with ammo. So I can I can try to do them hammers one two three, and that's my rhythm now. Don't get me wrong. Once I get warmed up, then I'll go ahead and do the whole tree. So I'll try to do that now. Is that super fast? No.
but I don't, this is not YouTube, uh, I'm not a YouTube ninja, but on average, you know, cold, I'm going to slow down just a little bit, and I've had some professional guys that, you know, do this type of stuff for a living, that have, uh, you know, made a lot of people take that dirt nap challenge, uh, and they tell me, you know, you can literally uh, put so many rounds out and down range that you're just wasting, you know, you, you need to... Uh, put it out and reassess and put it out and reassess. How do you do that? Come to T3 and we'll show you. These, those are the types of tactics that are life-saving that will help you. Yeah, go ahead. I'm rolling.